Testing, test, test, one, two, test, sound. Hello, I'm Ben, and I'm at Vell Lake. Amazing. Today it's the Kenda Cup number one here in Southern California. The first race of the season. Super excited to go racing. So I thought I would make a, a quick video just to show you the bike I'm gonna race today. So today I'm, I'm gonna race my uh, 29er hardtail. It's a 2013 Arbea Alma S10. It's a bike from Spain. It's a pretty rad bike, I love it. The reason why I'm racing my old bike this weekend is mostly for uh, logistic reasons. Uh, it was supposed to be a mud fest this weekend with rain. We got a bit of sunshine right now, but we didn't know how it was going to be. So I uh, didn't take any chance because last time we raced here last year, it was, it was, the, it was the mud apocalypse. It was completely insane. It was raining the whole race. Pretty much had to, to rebuild the whole bike after the race. Had to change the bottom bracket, the headset, uh, change the brake pads, the cables, all things. Um, I also trashed my disc brakes because my brake pads were completely worn out after just two laps. So I was braking on the metal and I destroyed the disc. So a lot of work to do on the bike after a race like that. And since the next race is at Bonnelli Park next week, I'm not gonna have time this week to rebuild my bike. Uh, I'll be super busy with work. I thought it'd be smart to just take my old bike, get it dirty, and then have my new bike ready for next week uh, at Bonnelli Park, which should be a dry race. So, um, so what I like about this bike is that it's the best bike in the world. This is the bike that was introduced at the London Summer Olympics. It was raced by uh, Julien Absalon, uh, the world champion two times, I think, gold medalist at the Olympics, and also Catherine Pendrel uh, rode this bike. It's a pretty legit bike. And what I love about this build is that it comes with all my favorite parts. So I didn't have to change anything. I love the Mavic wheels. I've been racing those wheels since forever. It comes with uh, Shimano XTR all around. I absolutely love the Shimano XTR brakes. They just they just feel amazing. It came with the trail version of the brakes for 29er. I guess that makes more sense. They feel so powerful and so precise. Also, it, it came with the Cell Italia seat, which my ass is a big fan of. Pretty much the only thing I changed is the the cockpit. I set it a bit more aggressive with a longer stem with a negative angle, so I can put more weight on the front wheels. This helps to to reduce the the understeer in the corners, and I don't know, feel more focused in this position. Like uh, like I'm always attacking the course. My handlebar is uh, 62 centimeter which for me felt super large but for some people that's short and I put on some sweet pro logo chameleon grip I absolutely love them it feels like you're holding a tennis racket the suspension is, is a Fox with the lockout absolutely love the Fox always had good uh, good experience with the Fox suspension so I love that and the weight of the whole bike I just I just weighted it with uh, everything you see there uh, with the time pedals the all the accessories and two scoops of stands and the tires uh, it, it weighted 22 pounds uh, flat one thing I love about this bike is that it's all tried and true components there's nothing exotic there's nothing funky trying to save uh, an extra gram of weight so that means overall it's 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 a quite reliable bike and I'm touching wood or whatever that is I don't want to have a mechanical today. If this bike can win a World Cup, then it should be fine for me. We'll see how it goes today. I better go warm up for the race. It's gonna start in about an hour. Let me know if you like videos like that. Uh, first time I do something like that. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that's useful uh, and what you would like to see next. I don't know. All right, cheers. Was this good or was this lame?